I have three quick tips for you on how to downgrade from the new macOS equipment back to the old macOS Sonoma. But before we get to that, make sure you like, subscribe, and hit that bell notification for more Pro Mac tips. Now, there's a few reasons why you would want to downgrade your Mac. Maybe it's because there's some instability in some of the apps that you use and they're now working well with macOS Sequoia, or the demand of the new software is just taking up too much of your battery life. But before you downgrade, maybe you want to run some maintenance on your computer first so that it may solve your energy and your speed problems. So let's jump into an app called Clean My Mac. So from this homepage, we're going to go to performance and we're going to run a quick scan. So there are a few suggestions of what you can do right here, but let's hit view all tasks. Let's flush our DNS cache, repair disk permissions, and thin out our time machine snapshots. If you see any issues with sending out emails from the mail app or searching up things on your laptop, go ahead and check those two other boxes as well. But let's go ahead and hit run. And it's as simple as that for Clean My Mac to run some really important maintenance on my computer that may solve some speed and energy problems that I may be facing when I upgrade to Mac OS Sequoia. Now, if you want to get started, there's a link down description box below if you want to start a free trial or get the full version. I highly recommend it. So the first way to downgrade back to Sonoma is to use Time Machine. Now, hopefully before you upgraded to Mac OS Sequoia, you had a Time Machine backup of your computer when you were still on the old software. And typically you would create a Time Machine backup on a removable hard drive such as this. So go ahead and plug this into your computer right now. So you're going to want to turn off your computer right now. And there are two separate instructions that I need you to follow, whether you have an Intel based Mac or an Apple Silicon based Mac. If you have an Intel based Mac, you're going to want to hold down command r while you hold down the power button if you have an apple silicon mac just hold down the power button without anything else and when you see a startup options screen pop up just click on options when you see mac os utilities click restore from time machine and click continue choose the backup that you want to restore from but it should be the last one before you upgrade it before sequoia and it should say that it was made with mac os sonoma then hit restore the second way of downgrading is through recovery mode if you have an intel based mac it's really easy to reinstall the mac os that was actually shipped with with your computer when you first got it. And when you restore it to that old Mac OS, then you could upgrade to Mac OS Sonoma. First, you're gonna to wanna to shut down your Mac, then hold Shift Option Command R when you boot it back up. Release the keys when you see the Apple logo and when you see Mac OS Utilities, click Reinstall Mac OS and wait for Mac OS to reinstall. This method does not work for Apple Silicon Mac, so we have to move on to the third way, which is to use a bootable installer. So you're gonna to wanna to get a USB stick or a removable hard drive that has at least 16 gigabytes worth of space on it. Once you plug in that USB or removable hard drive for that bootable installer, you're going to want to do this next. Hit command space, type in disk utility. You're going to highlight that drive, choose erase, rename it Mac OS Sonoma installer like I'm typing it right here. Make sure that the format is APFS and hit erase. Then we're going to go to the app store, search Mac OS Sonoma, and we can download the installer right here. When it's done downloading, you're going to want to quit by hitting command Q. After you've done that, open up the terminal and you're going to want to type down this long command and enter your password, then press return. When you see a message that the installer has been successfully created, go ahead and quit terminal, go to system settings, general, startup disk, and then you're going to want to select the USB installer. Then shut down your Mac and hold down the power button until you see the startup options. Click options and then continue. When you see Mac OS utilities, click disk utility, click on your startup disk, and then click erase. Choose APFS and rename it Macintosh HD as your startup disk. When it's erased, quit disk utility. For Mac OS utilities, reinstall Mac OS Sonoma. Follow the instructions on screen and wait for Mac OS Sonoma to be reinstalled. If you need more help on how to speed up a slow Mac, there's a video link right here to get you started. Thank you guys so much for watching this quick little video. Make sure you like, subscribe, and hit that bell notification for more pro Mac tips.